Hey there, this is Justin Stone Diaz, and I want to say hello to everyone who is just picking this up from the beginning. Um, but this is being done within a con the, the context of a 28-day set of practices that I engaged in um, under the process that Sharon Salzberg provides in her book, Real Happiness. Um, so my last post was um, a teaser for um, this froggy throat. So what I was um, starting to touch upon was that um, as the 28-day um, um, first round of the 28-day practice rounded up, it coincided with a lot of um, interesting things in my life. Um, I got to do a great re weekend with Sharon Salzberg and Robert Thurman up in the Catskills. Um, got to see a bunch of old friends. Um, but then when I came back, um, because I've been practicing and just everything sort of, you know, going much faster in my life since I started practicing again, or I have the time and the space to, um, just things have opened up. Um, and so Occupy Wall Streets, um, was beginning right when I got back from the retreat with Bob and Sharon. Um, and at first, um, I just came by as a spectator, and I only saw that outside ring of people. Um, if you follow me on Twitter or Facebook, you've probably seen the Sam Splat or Sprat um, avatar I'm using. Uh, meditation with a J train. Moment of silence. So, um, I, the outside wall of people, I only, could only see the type of weirdos that you can see in that Sam Splat, um, Sprat um, avatar image of the guy in the gas mask. Um, but after a couple of visits, um, I was naturally drawn to what was going on in the Liberty Plaza. Um, and needless to say, I've been pulled in and... It's been really amazing to be a part of a community um, that shares a lot of my interests. And it's just that this Occupy Wall, thing, Wall Street thing and my own personal practice just both came at around the, around the same time. And I'm very um, grateful for um, being able to have the space and the patience to be of service to this wonderful thing that's occurring in New York City. Um, so if you don't know what Occupy Wall Street is, um, it's quite simple. Um, it's called Occupy Wall Street. Um, the goal is, is to occupy the space known as Liberty Plaza as a representation of Wall Street. Um, and in that political action of us taking that space, we have liberated um, Liberty Plaza to back to the community. Um, so, um, I hope that you'll take a moment, um, to take a look at what we're doing down here at Occupy Wall Street. There is a lot of interesting, um, bad information out there about it. Um, if you have any questions about what's going on, on the ground, I'm there daily. Um, some days I sleep over, but I'm more service to what's going on, being able to be a part-time occupier. Um, the nights that I've um, tried to stay in sleep on the plaza, there's just so much activity and wonderful interaction going on that I just can't go to sleep. Um, yeah, so Occupy Wall Street. It's a political movement that basically brings you down to, to Wall Street, to Liberty Plaza, to a space that we've liberated, that we've turned over to the community. Um, Occupy Wall Street is a location it is a place in downtown New York, a block or two off of Wall Street itself. If you've been following this on the news, you'll understand one of the reasons we're at Liberty Plaza. Um, it's the closest park and there's a legal situation that allows us to be there 24 hours a day. Biggest reason my voice is blown out is that um, in this um, process that we use um, at Occupy Wall Street at Liberty Plaza, there's the um, human microphone where you have to yell out and there's a call and response and um, 
a couple of the nights where things were a little chaotic when we were just getting the organization down, um, I overdid things. Um, so my voice has been quite froggy for the past two weeks. So if you have questions about Occupy Wall Street, um, I'm hoping by being on the ground on a daily basis and participating in what's going on um, and by doing that, I'm hoping that I can learn what's going on and be a part of it. And instead of just being an observer in social media, I actually am trying to use all these different tools and all these great mindful techniques with social media. And just in the past you know, two weeks, it's been pretty amazing. Um, I'm going to close out this post in saying that I will um, do an introduction to Occupy Wall Street um, as another post. But um, I just wanted to pass on my gratitude to my friends and my new family members down at the Occupy Wall Street space down at Liberty Plaza. Um, the biggest thing that I want to do, I'm volunteering as one of the information coordinators and so I'm trying to just be there to help provide information, get information for people, get it to the people who want to hear it. Um, but don't believe what you're hearing in the media. Um, as someone that's on the ground, has slept in the park, um, I suggest to you talk to someone else who's been on the ground. Um, there's a lot of bad information about what is going on and why we're there. Um, it's very quite simple. It's three words. It's Occupy Wall Street, no more, no less. Um, I'm gonna go into a video post after this, probably tomorrow, where I'll explain um, how simple Occupy Wall Street is and how you, even the people who have been following it, probably have fallen for the bad media um, exposure we've had. Um, but don't worry, we intended that. Um, all that bad press, all it's doing is um, creating buzz for us because in the end all this bad press people come down to see for themselves and once they come down to the OWS space at Liberty Plaza things start to drop away it's a really amazing experience to be a part of a protest movement that really is only goal is to create community space and dialogue everyone asks us like why we're there and just look at our name it's Occupy Wall Street I'm not going to go into it right now because my voice is giving out. But please um, look for the hashtags on Twitter. Um, check and make sure you're getting the information from someone who's actually there. There's a lot of um, people out there, well-intentioned people, um, but people out there providing information in the name of Occupy Wall Street um, that are not on the ground and have not asked us what our needs are. Um, so please um, stay tuned. I will have a post tomorrow. Um, I can't do a fancy live stream from um, Liberty Plaza itself um, because of bandwidth and my phone. Um, but hopefully there's a solution on the way where there's going to be free Wi-Fi across the board. So once I have free Wi-Fi, I'll be doing some live stream stuff so you guys can catch things live. Um, but stay tuned. I'm really excited to share this with everybody. Um, remember, Occupy Wall Street. It's a place... It's a motto. Um, the movement is to Wall Street. Please join us. Come occupy Wall Street with us. Um, see you online. See you at Liberty Plaza. And see you on the map.